will continue with the types of functions. So, first category of function is one to one function, or it is also called as injective function. A function f from a to b is injective or one to one function if for every b belongs to b, there exists at most one a belongs to a such that f of a equals to b. This is very important. So, every element has a different or distinct image. This means that f is injective if f of a1 equals to f of a2 implies a1 equals to a2. So, two elements if they have the same image it must be the same element. That is if f is a function from a to b then every element of b appears at most once as an image of the element of a or every element of a has a distinct distinct image in B. Suppose f is a function from n to n that is natural numbers to natural number with the function f of x equal to 5 x is injective because if you say that if f of x is the same f of x1 equals to f of x2 then x1 must be equal to x2. So similarly f from z plus to z plus f of x equal to x square is injective because here positive integers. So every positive integer has a distinct square. Then similarly if f equal to z to z f of x equal to x square is not injective since f of uh, minus x is minus x whole square is equal to x square. That means the minus x as well as plus x both have the same image. Therefore, it is not injective or it is not one to one. Next is a uh, 3x plus 7 is a function f of x equal to 3x plus 7 over the re real numbers. Then suppose if you want to prove this, then let us assume that x1, x2 belongs to R and f of x1 equal to f of x2 it is nothing but 3x1 plus 7 is equal to 3x2 plus 7 if, which implies x1 equals to x2. x2. Therefore, f is 1 to 1. Suppose the function is defined by x square minus x on real number to real number. Now, here f of 0 is 0 and f of 1 is also 0 but 0 is not equal to 1. Therefore, it is not 1 to 1. Both 0 and 1 have the same image. In case of 1 to 1, every element should have a distinct image which is not satisfied. So, it is not 1 to 1. Next kind of function is many to 1 function. So, you can observe here more than one element has the same image in case of many to 1 function. That is if f of a equals to f of b for some a belongs to a, it is many to 1. If f of a equals to f of b, that means here f of 1 equals to f of 2. Next is on to or subjection or subjective function. A function f from a to b is subjective or on to if the image of f equals its range. So, every element <coughs> in b should have at least one pre-image. That is for every b belongs to b there is exist there exists some a belongs to a such that f of a equals to b. That is for any y in b there exists some x in a such that y is equal to f of x. In this case example f from z plus to z plus f of x equal to x square is subjective. f of x equals to x squared. Integers, I think it is not. On real numbers, it is subjective because if you consider 2, 2 is not. So, just a minute. Here, if the domain and uh, Codomain as z plus it is not subjective because if you see that z plus contains all 1, 2, 3, 4 all positive integers. So next if you see 1, 1 has a you know, pre-image 1 whereas uh, 2 is not having its pre-image because uh, 2 is uh, square root of 2 is uh, some um, floating point number or real number. So it is not subjective whereas z to z f of x x square is not subjective because here domain and codomain are both uh, positive as, as well as negative. Here negative integers do not have a pre-image. So, it is not subjective. Whereas f from r to r, the same x square, if you see r to r plus, 
so it is odd to because r plus every element has the square root which is some real number so therefore it is on to whereas uh, x cube it is surjective since co domain of f is equal to r which is equal to range of f for on to functions if f is a function from a to b range is always equal to the co domain that is b and on to function exist if the size of a has to be greater than the size of p that is if you see size of a as m m a should be greater than or equal to n next is one to one correspondence or bijective we say a function f from a to b is bijective or one to one correspondent if and only if f is both injective and subjective so here to prove f from uh, r to r defined by f of x equals to x minus 3 is a bijective function goes like this we have to prove that this function is injective and subjective if f of x1 equals to f of x2 then x1 equals to x2 we can imply hence it is injective and since and here 2x minus 3 is equal to y therefore x equals to y plus 3 divided um, x equals to Uh, 2x equals 2x minus 3 equals to y therefore x equals to y plus 3 divided by 2 just a minute so if uh, y is equal to 2x minus 3 then x is equal to 3 plus y or y plus 3 divided by 2 which again belongs to r therefore f of x equals to y hence f is surjective since f is both subjective and injective we say f is bijective next is the invertible function a function f from a to b is said to be invertible if its inverse relation is a function from b to a so if you interchange the ordered pairs of f and if it is still a function then we say it is an invertible function so if f is bijection then only f inverse from b to a exist then f is said to be invertible next identity function a function f from a to a such that f of a equals to a that is every element is associated with itself then it is called identity function and uh, on the set a it is i a if on the set b it is i b so domain of f is equal to range of f is equal to a in case of identity function Next is a constant function, a function f from a to b is such that f of a equal to c. So for all a belongs to domain of f where c is a fixed element of b is called as a constant function. Every element has the same image. Into function, a function f from a to b is said to be an into function if there exists a b which is not the image of any a in a under f. That is, if f is not on to, then it is called as an into function. So, in that case, some element of B is not associated with any element of the domain. If f and g are functions from A to B, f equals to g if f of A equals to g of A. That means, two functions are the same if the images in both the functions are same. Now, Counting number of one to one functions f from a to b with the size of a equals to m and size of b equals to m. How we can find here? So that is a equals to a1, a2, am, b equals to b1, b2, am, bn. So case one, if m is greater than n, then one to one function is not possible since uh, the number of elements in m is greater than n, one to one function is not possible because every element of a should be associated with uh, some element but uh, uh, some distinct element but uh, since the number of elements in uh, a is greater it some of the elements will not have image so it is not a function so it is not possible so now if m is less than or equal to n then a one to one function has the form a1 x1 a2 x2 am x1 where there are n choices for x1 and uh, since it is one to one this uh, x1 cannot be associated with the uh, remaining element. So, you have n1 minus 1 choices for x2 and uh, next uh, for selecting the next choice you have to 
not we are not supposed to use the already elements uh, which are having the images so you have n minus 2 elements until n minus m minus 1 choices so by the product rule number of 1 to 1 to 1 functions from a to b is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to n minus m plus 1 which is nothing but n p m so problems on this if there are two one eight seven functions f from a to b and size of b is 3 what is size of a so here the number of functions from a to b is given by the size of codomain right to the size of domain which is 2183 which is nothing but 3 power 7 so because b is already given 3 power what is 2187 it is nothing but 7 so therefore size of a is 7 next let a1 a2 be an integer sequence defined recursively by a 1 equals to 1 for all the remaining n belongs to z plus a n equals to 2 a n by 2 floor. Determine a n for 2 to 8. a1 equals to 1, a2 equals to 2 into a of uh, 2 by 2 which is 2 a1 which is 2. Likewise you can generate the remaining sequences up to a8. Next, if a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there are 6, 7, 2, 0 injective functions f from a to b, what is the size of b? Number of injective functions a from a to b is size of b into size of b permutation to the size of a which is 6, 7, 2, 0. So, size of a is equal to m equal to 5. And npm equals to n factorial divided by n minus m factorial, which is 8720. So, here uh, by substituting the n equals to 8, you will be satisfying this equation. Therefore, n equals to 8. So, now again some other definitions. If f is a function from a to b and a1 is a subset of a. So, here some subset of a is formed. Then, f of a1 is equal to the set of all the images of uh, the elements of a1 and then f of a1 is called as an image of a1 under f so suppose f is uh, a is given and b is given and f is given by 1w 2x 3x 4y 5y then a1 equals to 1 2 so what are the images of uh, a1 that is uh, w and uh, x that forms the image of f of a1 is equal to wx f of a2 similarly if you see a2 equal to 2 3 4 5 so 2 3 4 5 so it is x comma y so likewise you can go for finding the solutions for the remaining problems thank you